Miss Carrie said if I fix a bike, I get to take one home. I moved out of the city and moved down to Asbury Park just looking for a change of, of city life. And at some point I met Father Bill from Holy Spirit Church and he is very passionate about community programs. He's worked in Trenton and Camden and Newark and especially about you know rising up the urban youth and about community programs. And I love how it just happened. It was really just kids in the neighborhood telling other kids. I thought it would be more um, maybe just about kids fixing bikes. What it has eventually become is sort of this urban oasis. I mean this little piece of parking lot next to Holy Spirit Church basically was transformed into this communal backyard which kids don't have in Asbury. So it really just became this just common area for kids to come and play. The rewarding part is Number one, you can see development in the children from the beginning in which they were skeptical of what was going on and they were sort of nonchalant about everything. But as uh, we were serious about what we were doing, how many of the youngsters, and especially the older ones, maybe 12, 13, 14 years old, really look forward to coming to work mechanically on their bikes and understand more about the nature of fixing their gears and their uh, chains and brakes. Uh, and learn a little bit more safety precautions uh, by having us around to be able to uh, direct them as much as we could. And I thought it would be a great idea to encourage uh, the children of the neighborhood to come over to Holy Spirit so that we could become acquainted with them and their families. It would be one step further in the direction of trying to impact our community. And if we only had the adults who would want to take an active part like Carrie, uh, we could do a lot more than I think we ever suspected we could do in trying to help uh, the young adults of our community get better direction. I just thought the bike church was going to just be a little part of their lives, just something that they do on Monday. And a little boy, Jameer, had come, and maybe he had come later that day, and he wanted to know if he could start working on his bicycle that he was going to earn. I said, Jameer, you know, it's almost it's almost time to clean up today. You know, you have to come next Monday and we'll start, you know, we'll start you then. And he said, okay, okay. And he looks up and he's like, is next Monday far away? <laughs> and it's just their lives, you know. It's, I mean, I guess that's a, the sense with any kid, but I think especially in Asbury Park too, like they, he just, you know, other kids might have, the next day might have karate or might have something else or another activity. But some of them, I mean, just could not wait to come back to bike church. I think the beauty of the bike church, too, is, you know, kids from all walks of life. You know, we have immigrants and kids that were born here and Latinos and Haitians and African-Americans um, all coming together in the same parking lot. They might not have necessarily been playing together on the same street if they weren't there. And they've all kind of come together for the same reason, to come and have fun in the in the church parking lot and I think it just expands the meaning of the word church and I think it just means a place just to come together and and share a common love for something in this case the bicycle <laughs>